everybody. Welcome back to me and Munchkin. We are getting ready to go on a seven night Western Caribbean cruise with Royal Caribbean and we're leaving next week. I have exactly a week to pack and that's really pushing it for me. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you what I'm packing for those seven days. I'm gonna start with all the clothes and shoes first and then we're gonna get into the extras. In order for me to go, I'm going to take this carry-on bag, this 24 inch checked bag, plus a backpack for my personal item. So to start out, we're going to be gone for a total of 10 days. We're flying down to Miami on Thursday, but we don't board the cruise ship until Saturday. And then we fly back the following Saturday. Flying on the airplane, I'm going to be wearing the bulkiest stuff that I have. I'm going to wear these yoga pants and this tank top. This shirt, it's one of my favorites. I wore it to our Mexico trip. It says, where is my cabana boy? Really kind of sets the mood for vacation. I'm going to wear this hoodie. I also have a black um, zip up hoodie that I'm going to take, but my daughter's wearing it today, so I can't show it to you. And then I'm gonna wear these tennis shoes. You always wanna wear your bulkiest tennis shoes on the plane. I'm bringing an extra pair of sleep shorts and I have two sets of pajamas. I have underwear, bras, a sticky bra for all of the sundresses I'm wearing and underwear. I'm taking along three swimsuits. I have a black two-piece, I have a tropical two-piece, and I have a swimsuit that comes with a tank top and it's shorts, so it's almost like a one-piece, but not really. And I'm taking one swimsuit cover. I'm bringing along an extra two tank tops. They're just camis. I am bringing two pairs of white shorts, one cloth, one denim, two pairs of black shorts, one stretchy, one denim, and also a pair of white capris. I'm sticking with black and white so that it goes with all the other tops that I have. For shirts, I have ordered specifically this shirt, blame it on the drink package, because we have the deluxe drink package with Royal. I have a tank top. I have an off the shoulder shirt. I have a cold shoulder cutout blue shirt. It's just a t-shirt material, so it's nice and comfy. Another off the shoulder shirt. Another off the shoulder shirt. And then I have two tank tops, this one and the exact same one in a turquoise color. Moving on for dresses. I plan on wearing a dress every evening when we go to dinner, whether it's at the hotel pre-cruise or on the ship in the main dining room. I have this maxi dress. I have a white off the shoulder maxi dress. I have a casual dress, it's out of Jersey, it's t-shirt material. So I can wear it as a swimsuit cover up or I can wear it into the dining room. That's probably gonna be my first night dress. I have this dress, again, maxi dress, but it's got a cute little cutout along the waist and a nice little slit in it. And then I also have another, you guessed it, maxi dress. For formal night, I am bringing two formal dresses. One of them is this shorter cocktail dress. And, and then for another formal night, I have this long satin dress. I am planning on re-wearing some of my clothes, and so I'm probably bringing too many shirts, but I'm an overpacker and I like to have options, and the shirts roll up to almost nothing, so I'm bringing them. Shoes for the entire time. I am bringing a pair of very comfy flip-flops that I'm going to wear most of the day. I'm bringing a pair of dressy sandals. 
I have a pair of blue suede wedges, navy. I have a pair of black wedges. And I am bringing one pair of fancy shoes for formal night on. They're super cute and so dressy and they're actually really comfy. Moving on, um, oh, I also forgot. I am bringing two jersey skirts. It's really wrinkly, I'm sorry. Phil, I've got one in black and one in white. Again, to fit in with my theme of only black and white on the bottom so that it matches with all of the other shirts I have. Clothes, we have toiletries. I have my straightener. I have this pouch that my jewelry is going to go into. My makeup bag. Um, feminine products. Um, I have a travel bag for toiletries. And there's not gonna be a whole bunch in here just because most of the stuff I'm going to pack is gonna go in my checked bag, which is going to be in this toiletry bag. So I'll do that. I'll do all my toiletries more in depth in another video. And then I have a large bottle of aloe and some sunscreen, reef safe, because we are snorkeling a couple nights or a couple days. And I always double bag that just to make sure it doesn't leak over everything else. I'm not a huge fan of packing cubes. I actually prefer using Ziploc baggies as my packing cubes because you can squeeze out the extra air and compress everything. Plus I can bag things up so that I know what is what. And then I always just hang everything up when I get to the hotel room any, or not the hotel room, but to the cabin. So let's see how I can put everything together. Start off, I need to designate the clothes that I'm gonna wear pre-cruise and onto the cruise ship. That way I don't have to unpack everything. So I have one set of pajamas for pre-cruise. I have one swimsuit for the hotel pool and I have a tank top and then I can rewear my yoga pants as my swimsuit cover up or if we, um, when we have to go to CVS to do our pre-cruise COVID testing. And then I also have the outfit that I'm gonna wear onto the ship. So all of that is actually going to go in a designated packing cube that I'm gonna keep in a separate area so that, like I said, I don't have to unpack everything. that I'm bringing. Um, I did not roll up my satin evening gown because I am going to fold it on top of everything so that it doesn't get crunched up. Um, so that is why it did not get rolled and it will be left for last to pack. But not too bad, we condensed down a whole table to a small pile. Let's move on to all the extras that I'm bringing magic. So this is all the extra stuff that I am bringing. And yes, some of it is definitely extra. You don't need to bring everything that I'm bringing. This is what I want to bring. Uh, my personal item for the plane is going to be my good old trusty eSport backpack. I love this one because there's so many pockets and there's outside pockets and I love pockets. I can fit a lot of stuff in here, but I'm trying not to fit a lot because this is gonna be on my back. So, all the, we'll start with the extra extra. Snorkel gear. You don't need to bring snorkel gear if you don't want to. I prefer to bring my own because I know my mask fits me. I know my mouth is the only mouth that has been on this snorkel tube. And I just feel better bringing my own. Plus, uh, when we go to Coco K, I don't have to worry about renting and paying extra for snorkel gear when I have room. Um, some other things that are super extra. Yes, I'm bringing an inflatable beach ball. Because we are spending a day at the hotel before going on the cruise and we just might want something to do in the pool. Another thing that's extra, and we brought these to Mexico. 
These are pool loungers. And it's a net. You blow up each end and you just float. And again, it packs up to almost nothing. It weighs very, very, very little. So both me and Munch are bringing one of these. We're gonna use them at the hotel pool. We might use them at Coco Cay. We might use them at Little French Key. But again, we didn't pay a whole bunch for them and they weigh almost nothing and they pack flat. So we are bringing them. Another thing that might be extra, but you might like to bring is a waterproof pouch for your phone. We're going to be swimming and snorkeling and a lot of water play. So we're bringing each a waterproof case for our phones. That way I can still video while we're snorkeling and we don't have to ever worry about ruining our phones. Another thing that's extra is this lockable pouch. It is by Safe Inside. I took this to our Mexico trip also. It comes with a lockable cable cord that you just put through here and you can lock this to your chair. It is supposed to be waterproof and it is supposed to be knife proof so nobody can come in, cut into it. And then it, the zipper just locks on the side. You set your own number digits to unlock it and I feel much better about leaving my phone or my wallet or something at my beach chair if I know that it's locked up and nobody can take it. For packing, I'll also stick things in it on the way. I have an HDMI cord so that I can put my computer to a TV down in the hotel. Um, my laptop is not up here. That is another extra thing that you might not want to bring. I need to bring it because I have master's classes that I'm taking. My daughter has schoolwork that she might need to catch up on. And I have to be able to log into my work emails and possibly be able to do some stuff while I'm gone also. We always bring something to do. So I have a deck of cards so we can play pitch. I have sparkle scorecards and I have this little tray. You actually unsnap the sides and it's completely flat. Also extra, I went online and to Etsy and bought magnets for everybody that's going on the cruise with us. Everybody has a different color and it has our name, it has our sail date, and it has the ship that we're gonna be on. You're going to want to bring a lanyard or something to hold your card. Ladies, if we're wearing dresses, we don't have pockets and you don't wanna be shoving it down your bra the whole time. So I found the idea to make cute little stretchy bracelets with a lanyard holder. So on formal nights, I can just wear a bracelet and have my card dangling from my wrist instead of wearing a neck lanyard. Along with that, I bought these clear pouches for your CPAS card. I got them off of Amazon, extremely cheap. You can probably get them at Walmart even. So if you bring a lanyard and you're on Symphony of the Seas, they cannot punch a hole in the card anymore. So you have to have one of these. Another extra that I'm bringing are luggage tags. You can just print out your tags and staple them to your bags if you bring a stapler or use packing tape. But I've been seeing a lot of people recommend these and so I went ahead and bought some. I don't have my luggage tags in it yet. I just printed them today. So I need to cut them and put them in here. Do not add the tags to your luggage until after you fly. If you try to add these before at the airport when you're flying to your destination, the airport could remove them and then you just would have lost them. We're bringing some air freshener for our cabin just to make it smell good. I am bringing these Hydrolyte packages. It's supposed to help rehydrate you faster. I am taking advantage of the drink package and I'm not a big fan of water. So I'm bringing these that I can put in my water bottle and basically it'll taste a lot better and maybe prevent hangovers and prevent dehydration. I am planning on bringing a little travel alarm clock. This one folds up really flat and locks in place. There are no clocks in the cabin rooms. So if you don't wanna rely on your cell phone, bring a little alarm clock. Also your cell phone might change time zones accidentally. 
So this would make sure that you're not too late or you're not late for your excursions. This pouch is a brand new try for me. It is a technology pouch. I have our chargers for camera, phone, um, watch. I'm gonna put my computer, my laptop charger in here. I have um, a little, it's not a gimbal, it's a weird name, um, so that I can listen to earbuds off of my phone. I have old fashioned earbuds so that I can listen to the plane movies. And it just keeps everything all together and zips right up and it goes right in my backpack. I'm also bringing a waterproof camera and a battery, extra battery and charger for it. Uh, I used this when we were down in Mexico and it worked really great and I got really good pictures off of it. So I am a photographer. I have a huge DSLR camera, but I don't want to bring it because it just takes up so much room and I'd be afraid of breaking it and being out on a lot of money. So I'm bringing my little um, Olympus waterproof camera. It worked really great and I'm hoping it does again. I'm also bringing a pair of earbuds. You can bring AirPods, whatever. You might want them if you're listening to a book on tape, if you're in the airplane and want to listen to music, want to watch a movie on Netflix without bugging everybody else besides you. Bring some AirPods. I have a charger bank. Uh, when we are out on port and using our phones for pictures and things, I don't want to run out of battery. So I have actually a couple of these. I'm bringing one, Munch is bringing one also. I am bringing a couple of books and a notebook. I am a book reader. I don't like books on tape as much. I'd rather have the actual pages. So I am bringing books. If I finish these while I'm on the ship, I'll just donate them to the library at the ship. These are hooks that are magnetic that you can put on the walls of your cabin. Your cabin walls are all metal. These add so much storage space and you can hang your lanyard on it, you can hang a jacket, your excursion bag, swimsuits to dry in the bathroom, because even the bathroom walls are magnetic. So I bought some hooks. This is probably more than I need, but I'm bringing them anyway. And I will share these with some of my family that are in the connecting cabins. This is another extra, Flex Flap Pro. This is mainly for on the airplane or even in the cabin. It's extremely thin and you can bend this however you want and then prop your phone or your tablet on it and be able to watch a movie without having to hold it. Yeah, like I said, it folds up or it flattens back out, doesn't weigh hardly anything. It goes in my backpack going back. This is my passport holder. It holds both me and Munch's passes and our COVID cards and I will put in our airline tickets into this. So basically this stays in the outside pouch of my carry-on suitcase or in my backpack so that I can reach it real easily and I don't have to fumble around looking for a whole bunch of different papers and it keeps everything nice and together. I am bringing two pairs of sunglasses or myself, Munch is bringing a couple pair also because we will probably lose one or one will get broken. Instead of just throwing them into my bag, I bought these sunglass protectors. They're, they are hard and so they'll keep your sunglasses from getting smushed in all of your baggage. Bring highlighters. The Cruise Compass is an app through Royal Caribbean, but they also can give you paper editions still. I prefer the paper. And so I'm bringing two highlighters so that Munch has one and I have one and we can highlight things we wanna do each day so we can plan out our day. I am bringing a big water bottle. Um, this will come in handy in the airport. I can fill it up after getting through security. It'll come in handy on the ship because it is insulated a lot better than the tumblers are that we get with our drink package. And that way I can always have some cold water and be able to drink it. I am bringing a little container of dish soap. I put it in this travel container so that we can wash out our cups. I have Febreze fabric refresher so that some of the stuff that we do rewear, I can go ahead and Febreze it just to make sure that it doesn't get stinky. I also somewhere, and I don't know where it went, I think it's in my toiletry bag. I have downy wrinkle release, which I will spray on my clothes after we hang them up so that gravity can get rid of all the wrinkles in them. I have antibacterial wipes. 
I have flushable wipes, I have more antibacterial wipes, and more antibacterial wipes. I can probably cut those down. I do have a little package of Kleenexes. I have more sunscreen that's gonna go in my check bag. I didn't, this was in the wrong spot. And I have some hydrocortisone cream that goes with my medicine bag. In here I have ibuprofen, um, Tylenol, Ocremazole, uh, Pepto, Tums. Our prescription medicines are gonna go in here too. Um, water pills, cold medicine, pain medicine, all the medicines. I put them all in one container so that I can find them easily. And basically this is our first aid kit. This little gem, it's poopery spray. You spray this in the toilet before you have to do your duty and nobody smells it. And it can work as an air freshener in a pinch. I'm also bringing a short extension cord. This is not a surge protector. So it is okay on the ship. As long as they are not surge protected, you can bring them. I haven't had this one taken before. I'm also bringing this USB charger. Almost everything that we have plugs into a USB. And so this will just make it a lot easier just to charge everything in one spot. I'm bringing some gum, especially for the plane. I'm bringing a bag of masks, disposable masks. I'm actually going to add to this. This is what was left over after our Mexico trip. So I need to replenish that. Another thing that's extra is I am bringing an evening bag clutch for formal nights so that I'm not carrying around my stuff. And I actually have a second one inside for my daughter. I am bringing a, this is actually a backpack. I have zipped it up for travel, but this is my excursion bag. It is a mesh backpack that our snorkel gear fits in. T-shirt, towels, water, everything can fit in this. And since it's all mesh, sand will just fall right out of it. If anything is wet, this will air back out. It does have a pocket on the front so we can zip stuff up. So I really like this. I had it when we were down in Mexico and it came in really handy. So I'm gonna try it again. I am bringing an extra duffel bag in case that we go overboard on souvenirs and I need another suitcase to come home with. So that is the sole purpose of this bag, but since it rolls up pretty flat, I'm not gonna feel bad about using extra space. I have these cell phone um, bags. I sewed them, I found the pattern on Pinterest, and they're just little crossbody bags, and it has a magnetic snap, and my phone fits perfectly in here. I can fit my charger in here too. And there's actually a pouch in the middle if I wanted to just stick my sunglasses in there instead of carrying around one of these cases. And on the back, there are little card slots where I can put my seat pass if I want to. I can put a credit card when we go on a port, for my driver's license, and it snaps back up. And I also added a zipper pouch for change or those Mexican pesos that you get. Let's show you what all goes into my backpack. So into my backpack is going to go my cruise folder, which I didn't show you before. I print out everything and all of my, well, my seat documents are in here. My luggage tags are in here right now. I'm gonna have cruise, excursion, hotel room confirmations, um, plane, flight information. Everything's gonna go into here. I'm gonna stick that in there. Um, this is my wallet. I'm gonna have it down to bare minimum, driver's license, a couple cards, cash only in here. Yeah. I'm only gonna take one book and a notebook on this flight. I am gonna take the Farkle board along with the scorecard, the Farkle game, and the Flex Pro. I'm going to take all of my charging cords and my power bank. Uh, let's see here. My gimbal is going to go in here along with sunglasses and my camera and the battery for it. 
gonna stick this on a side so that I can get to it and it's a little bit more, it's not jumbled around with everything else. My ear pods are gonna go in here. Oh, and I do have a couple pens that stay in this backpack so that we can fill out forms as needed. The highlighters are gonna go in here into a pocket. The antibacterial wipes and the flushable wipes are gonna go in here. My book light, in case I want it on the plane. Kleenexes, my playing cards. A lock that again is a key code that I can figure out whatever code I want to put into it. That way I can lock my backpack shut if I wanted to. Aspirin, Tylenol. Oh, and also chapstick and a little thing of hand sanitizer are gonna go in here. Masks, at least some masks are gonna go into my backpack. I'm gonna have more that I'm gonna pack in the rest of my suitcase. My water bottle. My laptop, which I didn't get. Hold on, laptop. Goes back here. And finally, my passport information is gonna go in here. Actually, I'm gonna stick that up here. That's my personal item. Plenty of room still if I needed to put anything else in it, but I don't really want to make it too heavy because I have to carry it on my back. All right, so this is everything else that needs to go in my suitcases. I'm going to start with the largest suitcase, and you always start with the bulkiest stuff first. Who's ready to go on a cruise? I am. Make sure to follow us and watch for more updates and vlogs from our cruise. And thanks for watching.